Well, Jim Rogers is the chairman of Rogers Holdings and co-founder of the Quantum Fund. It will be bumpy, a bumpy recovery in China because of the, the virus and because of the property collapse. But China is on the rise, is rising again, but it will not be straight up and it will be slow. It will partially depend on the rest of the world, but the rest of the world is okay, at least for now. And what areas in particular will drive this growth? Service sector forecast to do well, uh, cars too. Uh, what do you think we'll, we'll see uh, driving uh, China's economy in 2024? Well, the main thing that's driving China's economy is that it collapsed. It had a property collapse and the virus caused problems. So any economy, wherever, if it drops a lot and then it hits bottom and turns around, that alone you know, drives the economy and the recovery is usually quite robust at least in the beginning and that's what's happening in China and the government of course is doing everything it can it's, it's trying to help the economy but the main thing is when you hit bottom and turn around you usually have a good time for a while and what about uh, a consumer confidence and uh, consumer spending how much will a bounce back in those affect things well, everybody, in, uh, many people in China, of course, are devastated or at least hurt by what happened, by the property collapse. It was a huge property collapse and the virus collapsed in China. They were locked down pretty dramatically. So those are the things that hurt China. And if nothing else, when those things end, the, uh, any economy will start recovering. And the government, of course, is trying to do what it can to spend money here, spend money there to help people. What happens in China, of course, uh, affects its trading partners. Uh, what's the trade outlook uh, for China, do you think? Well, at the moment, most countries in the world are doing fine. They, too, are recovering from the virus and from other setbacks. So most people, including China's major trading partners, are doing better, are doing fine, I should say. Japan, Korea, America, you know, the countries that China does big trade with are doing fine so far. So that's trade. Uh, what about investment? How important is China for foreign companies? Oh, China is the second largest or the largest economy in the world, depending on who's measuring. And if, so if you're the largest economy in the world, you're everybody's friend and you're the trading partner of many, many people. And that's the case with China. China is the largest trading partner of many countries in the world now. And what sectors in particular do you think uh, we might see investing more in China? Well, no, as the economy recovers in China, that more and more investors will return to China or will be drawn to China, including me. I am trying to invest more in China now, so, uh, but I'm not the only one. There are a billion and 400 million people in China, Robin. That's a big market for most people. And there's a lot of capital and investment in that country and trade. So it's extremely important to many people.